Hi, this is Dave Philippi with FabCAD, and in this lesson we're going to show you how to lay out a circular stair very quickly without using a calculator. So what we have here is an Excel spreadsheet, and we've got the field dimensions that you need in order to lay out a circular stair. And We're going to compare this against doing it with the CAD program to make sure that, that everything works out right. So the field dimensions we're doing here, we've got a floor to floor, 124 inches, we've got an outside radius of 120. The degree turn is 135 degrees, the width of the stair is 36, the maximum riser height is 7.5, and the width of the stringer is 1 inch. So, let's move this out of the way, and we're going to start with laying out the, get the riser height. So, the floor to floor is 124 inches, I'm going to draw a line, 124 inches. So, we need to figure out how many treads and risers we need to meet the criteria of not to exceed seven and a half inches. So we're going to use a command called measure. We're going to measure this line and put in 7.5. And what we've done here is every seven and a half inches, these nodes are hatched off. You notice there's a little bit left over on the end. So this tells us how many treads we're going to need. So I'm going to erase these to, so to have the computer count how many there are. So I didn't erase the line. So there are 16 of these nodes, which means there are 16 treads, and there are 17 risers. So let's take a look over here. I think that's what it says here. 16 treads, 17 risers. Okay. Now we're going to evenly divide this line. We use the divide command and divide. And we're going to divide it by 17 which gives us the 16 nodes, and then we'll see what the riser height is. So from the end point here to the snap to node, to this node here, 7 and 5 sixteenths. Let's check that over here with the 7, the riser height, 7 and 5 sixteenths. See that there? Okay, so far so good. So next we need to do the baseline. So to do that, we the we got to get the length of the stair stringer in plan. So I'm going to draw a circle and type in 120. Let's check the radius dimension. 10 feet. Okay, so let's move that down here a little bit. All right, now we want to draw a plan view of the circular stair. So I'm going to draw a line from another snap here called quadrant from the top quadrant here to the center. Okay, we got that. Now, the rotation is 135 degrees. So, we're going to rotate this line 135 degrees, but we want to keep the original one and create a new one. So I'm going to go to the rotate command, and the base point will be here. Now you notice at the bottom we have two options. One is copy, we want to exercise that, and one is reference. We want to use that too. So, the reference angle is 0, I hit enter, and the new angle is 135, 135, and hit enter. Okay, so it made a copy of that, instead of just rotating the single line over. So now, let's double check that, and make sure that's 135 degrees, so we'll do an angular dimension. Okay, 135. All right, so then we can trim this. All right, so now the stringer width is one inch, so let's offset one. This is the outside stringer. Okay, and then the width of the stair is 36, so let's offset 36. And then offset one again. And now we have our outside stringer and our inside stringer on plan. Now the stairs are going to be attaching to the inside stringer, so we need to measure the length of this arc here. So that dimension, arc length, is 24, 23 feet 4 and 3 eighths inches. So 23, 4 and 3 eighths. So let's draw, that's our baseline. So let's go back up here and draw the line here. 23 feet 4 
dash three slash eight enter okay 24 foot 43 feet four and three eighths okay now we have 16 treads so we're going to divide this line into 16 segments all right now let's measure what the tread length is and see if it matches our spreadsheet so linear dimension from here to the first node here is one foot five and a half so let's go to the outside so the outside curve one foot is one foot five and a half which is seventeen this is eight sixteenths which is one half so the outside tread matches the outside tread dimension matches okay so now let's do let's, well, let's lay out the stair treads here in plan so I'm going to trim this is the, the two stringers this line here oh, let's erase trim okay so we want to now array this line around 135 degrees and lay out the step treads in plan. So I'm going to go to the array command and I'm going to pick, this is a classic array, I'm going to use polar. I'm going to select the object, which is this. The center point of the array is the center point of the stringer, so I'm just going to go over here and do center of that. The total number of items, well it's 16 treads, but it takes 17 lines to create 16 treads, it'll be 17, and the angle to fit is 135. So that's a little preview here on, this, on the right side here, so let's preview it here. It looks right, I can just right click and accept it. So let's see if it worked out right. So let's copy this piece here, this piece here, this piece here. Might as well copy this one. We need to check the inside in a minute. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to trim this and this and then measure this outside to make sure this is right. Arc length here. One foot five and a half. Seventeen and a half. That's the magic number, right? Yep, there it is. Okay. So now I have the plan view of my stair drawn. That's the outside stringer, and this is the, this is the elevation view. So let's go ahead and let's lay these stairs out. So I'm going to go in now, and I'm going to draw a line from the node here over, and draw another line from this node here up to make my first tread and rise. I'm going to fill it that and then copy it up from here bring it up to the node here. Alright, then I'm going to copy this over so we just draw the floor line, the finished floor line is here. Okay. So, I'm going to copy this and points the base point. I'm going to use the array option with copy. Take off worth though. And then the number of items to copy is 16. I think 16 treads, right? Let's see what how that works out. And let's see, let's go down here, let's take a look. It was 16. Yeah, it looks right. And the end. So, let's see. Looks like it's perfect. Okay, so there is the, the the elevation view of our outside stringer. So I'll draw a line from here down to here, and then I could offset. So I want to offset uh, two inches here, and then offset. So I'm going to pick a 12-inch stringer here, and I want to stop the stringer, say, two inches from the uh, 
nose of the step, so two inches, and then fill it and start putting together my stringer. There's the base of my stringer. I don't need all this stuff anymore. Okay, so that's that's the outside stringer. Now let's do the inside stringer. So I'm going to copy the finished floor part because that doesn't change. Move that over here. And then take a measurement of the inside stringer. And that is 16, 3, and 9 sixteenths. So I'm going to draw a line. 16 foot 3 dash 9 slash 1 6 enter. And I'm going to divide that by 16. So I'm going to divide 16 treads. Okay. So let's see what the length of that is. So from the node here to the end point there, 12 and a quarter. So the inside tread length is 12 and a quarter, 12 and 4 sixteenths, which is 12 and a quarter. So as you can see, now it says the, the so let's see what the, we, in the riser height we've got all that. So we've pretty much matched everything up. So then I can draw a line and do the same layout and do the inside. Let me just do it real quickly here. So I'm just going to draw a line from the node here. A line from the node here. Fill it. And let's move it up. From the node to node. Copy. Base point is here. Array. 16. Second point's there. Okay, looks good. Alright, draw a line. Let's check the rise in 12 because we have that to make sure the angle is right. Because it says here that the outside stringer, the rise in 12 is 5 inches. So let's draw a line near here. Go out 12 inches. Enter. Go down. And let's see what that dimension is. Here, from here to there. Five inches, exactly. All right. Let's do another. Let's draw a line from near here. Twelve inches. Go down. And let's measure that. Linear dimension from there to there. Seven and three sixteenths. So let's see what the rise in twelve is for the ins inside the rise for the inside step tread in 12 inches is 7 and 3 16 so we know that the angles are right that the outside let's check the dimension of this one here arc length here all right 12 and a quarter 12 and a quarter inside tread length is right outside tread length is right angle is right rise or height's right We've got all the data here pretty much, and just, then you do the regular, just finish up the regular part of the detailing. That at this point on, it's like doing a regular straight stair. And that's how you lay out your circular stairs. Take care. Bye.